Hey everybody, I'm Alfred. Welcome to the first real episode of uh, me playing Honest Hearts. Um, I've decided to upload it, which you might have seen by now. But uh, I had kind of a false start where I forgot everything I actually needed for this DLC. But that should all be good now. Somehow I've gotten thirsty again, though. So yes, for those who aren't aware, um, <clears throat> I'm a big fan of Fallout, and I really like uh, New Vegas, as most Fallout fans do. Like, God, find me a Fallout fan who doesn't like New Vegas. Are you here to join? I'm ready to go with the Zion. I bet you Relax. I've humped this load across the Mojave on my own two feet long enough. I can handle it. All right, I'll dump everything in here, and we'll be good to go. So I've had to pare myself down quite a bit. I guess I have to leave food behind. That makes the most sense. Give me one of those. I'll leave the doctor. I'll bite that bullet. No, I won't. Doctor's bags are really, really hard uh, to... Well, not exactly hard to come by, but boy, do you miss them. Yeah, there we go. Are you here to join? I'm ready to go. Are you now? You know we I don't oh, want no whining about old Mr. Masters. I left my one of a kind plasma cannon back at base. Can we go back for it? You sure you're ready now? <laughs> yes, I'm sure. Very obvious poke to the player to be like, hey, player of video game, do you have all your shit? So. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, for those who don't know, uh, Fallout New Vegas is a very good game. Fuck, should I talk or not? You know what? I'm going to let you talk. Turn this up, and then I'll whisper to tell you to turn it down. Sent out missionaries to talk to the tribes. We've seen our share of ghosts, but the new Canaanites, they were honest traders. Good fighters, too. Raiders wouldn't tangle with them. But then, the Legion appeared in Arizona. I reckon you know all about them. Turns out Caesar's first war chief, the Malpace Legate, was a new Canaanite, Joshua Gray. Legend goes that Graham was the meanest, toughest son of a bitch in the whole damn legion. The new Canaanites wouldn't talk about it. They were ashamed. Guess I can't blame them. Well, at Hoover Dam, the Malpace Legate finally met his match. Hanlon and Oliver kicked his new Canaanite butt right back over the river. Caesar had to make an example for the others to show them that even at the highest level, failure wouldn't be tolerated. He had Graham covered in pitch, lit on fire, and thrown into the Grand Canyon. People say he didn't even scream on the way down. Not long after, some of the slaves and tribals started to talk. Said Graham wasn't dead. Shouldn't have been any surprise. All this talk bothered Caesar. So he forbade anyone from speaking his name. <laughs> Wanted to erase Joshua Graham from history. He got his wish. Joshua Graham disappeared, and in his place came legends of the burned man walking the waste. Probably just a tribal ghost story. But New Canaan's been silent for a long time. Maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe the Malpace Legate is dead. Or maybe Joshua Graham did crawl out of that canyon and finally found his way back home. All right. All right, people. It's been a long couple of weeks, but here we are. Zion. I know you're beat. I know you're tired, but I need everyone's mind on the trail ahead. Popping pills back there. Ain't the trail ahead worries me, Zed. Those descents we made through that slot canyon bag up there. Ain't no way we're getting back out the way. 
day we come. And then what? God damn it, Stella heard you the first time. And the 15th, too. The new Canaanites will know a way. And if they don't, we've got the maps on our friend's pit boy over there. Enough lollygagging. Get moving. And keep an eye out for tribal. Sorry to bother you with your right. So, yeah, Honest Hearts. So, for those who aren't aware, New Vegas is set in Fallout, a universe where the bombs dropped uh, because everything that everyone was afraid of the Cold War came true. Yoink. Oh, another one. Oh, wow. They're just falling out of the sky. Well, that's a... Uh... Man, I really could have come naked now that I think of it. All right, let's see where I'm at for any of these. I could do with a drink. I will drink the water I found on this man's corpse. All righty. He had a <laughs> prospector outfit. Nice. There we go. So yeah, for those who don't know, uh, Fallout is set in uh, post-apocalyptic America. Oh, yeah. Let's get some of these going, huh? Oh, huh. Well. Any chance I can... No. Well, I don't use energy weapons. And I don't need to fix my other grenade launcher, and this one's better. Yeah, 97 versus 98. But you know what? That one has a long barrel. Nine iron, nice. Let's go back around and see if I can patch up some stuff. See, it's almost like they want you to use shit you find in the DLC. Because they're like, hey, get yourself down to 75 pounds, asshole. Or else he ain't going. Oh, man, I don't even know where to start. I guess I'll just keep going on Fallout while I explore around here. Oop, we got fools. Let's use one of these on him, huh? Sure, no one's seen enough of the hunting rifle in Fallout. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. I just noticed my health. Sometimes it's really hard to remember that you gotta not get shot. El Fantoma. Whoops. Did not mean to do that, I will admit. The LP tax is hitting me hard. Recently, a uh, video came out where I was trying to explain the LP tax, and then I got distracted in the middle of explaining it, which is what the LP tax is. It was super embarrassing, though. Oh, right. Need a gun. Or do I? I love that the tomahawk has an extension cord wrapped around it. Oh, right. I forgot to heal. LP tax. Hey. Anyway. Oh, God. Doing this one again, huh? 
Anyway, the United States of America, right? Due to, uh, due to essentially like a clerical error, a lot of people ended up surviving these big underground things called vaults. Which then led to... Uh, which then led to um, society kind of getting rebuilt, which was nice. I mean, some people, fuck, think so. You know, what if we just... That was a bad one. That was a bad one. Why don't we just... Yeah, why don't we just do that again? Oh my god, that was the quick load, not the... If I had another false start, I would have killed myself. That would have been mighty embarrassing. I do say. So, um... Fallout is pretty well known. Which is why I sometimes, like... I'm not really sure where to start here, because I feel like I don't even need to... Explain what the hell. I wanted that tin can too. Oh yeah, empty syringes are actually good because they're weightless, but they have a uh, have a good sell price. Anyway, so the first Fallout is about, uh... Oh. It's a good price. Stay low, Stay first Fallout is about, uh, some kid leaving the vault because the water chip broke. But the lore was, uh, the gameplay was solid and the lore was deceptively good. Like, for example, there was this cool piece of lore where, uh... The only reason that the, uh... He's dead, man. The only reason that it uh, fa failed, the watership failed, was an intentional thing wherein the company that made the vaults sabotaged the water chips. Just to see what people would do, you know? Social experiments. The thing is, is that's a crappy thing to do to people, and it led to a lot of people dead, because, you know, that's, that's what happens. So we come to here. Well, let's take a look at this. Ah, it's not very good. Nice. Normally you wouldn't expect a shotgun to get work done like that. Let's quick save here. Wait, hold on. I've got to get that pit boy off of him, you know? These things are rare and expensive. Fallout's also had a very good history with very, very dark humor. But it's smarter than a lot of its contemporaries. So anyway, I'm getting fucking distracted again. Fallout 2 uh, continues the story a little further, but as it happens, the guy who originally got out of the vault in the very first game then leaves like he doesn't come back and he canonically starts a uh, outpost outside of the vault wow that was really clean here it was bad luck that i was using the hunting rifle oh god my health good thing i checked jesus do i need i do have food cool Yeah. This thing's a pile of shit. Why don't we just solve some problem here? 
<laughs> I think I got him. All right. 54 auto, huh? I don't know if you've even seen that before. That's pretty clean. However, I like my others better. So yeah, uh, a long running thing in, in Fallout is the tribals. The idea of someone starting, you know, a tribe out in the out in the wastes. However, there's other shit going on as well. For example, we've got a. Uh, the NCR, which is the New California Republic. Uh, they're in control of one of the largest land masses in the new post-war America. So what they do is they run shit, basically. Oh, that's that guy. Okay, thought it would have been more destroyed. Um, you've also got the Brotherhood of Steel, who don't feature heavily into this game. But they're very important in Fallout 3 and 4. Holy shit, did I get them? Crouching improves, uh, improves your aim in this game. Oi, white legs don't leave survivors often. You're some kind of lucky, let me tell you. <laughs> you came from outside, didn't you? From the civilized lands. Wow, Joshua will want to hear about this. Joshua Graham. Oh, you mean that guy that we spent 20 minutes talking about was important to the DLC? Damn. Safe from our enemies. He'll want to talk to anyone coming up from Southways. I guess that means just you now. Come, I can take you to him. Is that Yuri Lowenthal? Good sists. We head east then. Joshua is at our tribe's camp in the Eastern Virgin. So this game uh, takes out takes place in Nevada and Utah and some of the areas around there. Uh, and the thing is, it's it's a good. Oh, that was cute. I like that animation. It's a good counter to the other ones because in the other games, uh, the environment is all bombed out and deserty because they took place in a desert. However, a lot of people actually forgot that because Mad Max makes post-apocalyptic stuff in a desert look so appealing and specific. However, Mad Max is another example where it was a desert because it took place in a desert. The world getting nuked doesn't turn stuff into a desert. Um, sorry, just adjusting my chair here a little bit. So they tried to explain that away in Fallout 3, which was the first game by the new company, Bethesda, that it was in the most irradiated part of the world because it took place in Washington, D.C., who, you know, was the target of most of the bombs being the seat of power in America. So it was still all bombed out to hell. And then they forgot that when they made Fallout 4 because Fallout 4 is still bombed to hell even though it's so far after the war that it really should be nice, green, and alive again. Which is pretty annoying. But New Vegas was not made by Bethesda, only published. It was actually made by Obsidian, and I have a lot to say about them. But now let's talk to Follows Chalk. I finished my train of thought. <clears throat> Tell me a bit about this area. Any interest in wildlife? Mostly it's the mountain bighorners. Whole herd of them up on the cliffs there. Usually they're not too aggressive, but lately, whew, <laughs> my guess is one of the calves got lost somewhere along the way. Bighorners are communal. One missing calf, and the whole herd gets ornery. If I love ornery. If doesn't turn up soon, they might very well come down into the valley and attack the camp. Yeah? Hey, thanks. Most of the hunters don't listen when I tell them the problem. Just one thing. Try not to kill any bighorners if you can, yeah? You'll drive the herd off and we'll have to range farther on our hunts. 
Hmm. You might try luring the baby out with some banana yucca. These big horners go crazy for the stuff. That's great. I'll help any way I can. Oh, you're going to be the meat shield, follows Chuck. So yeah, after the war, um, society changed in a lot of ways. There's now a bunch of different groups. But the main thing is uh, there's people who got bombed, who mutated into zombies. Those are called ghouls. Not a lot of them here. Uh, there's tribals, who are people who survived the bombs and then started a tribe, you know. Some of them are like traditional Native American tribes, usually not to the, this extent. But in some cases, their tribe is built around very specific things. One of the best tribes in the world ever at all, ever. Whatever you say, follows Jock. Oh yeah, I'm dressed as, uh, as a member of Caesar's Legion because it has a really high armor class. I mean, damage threshold. Um, but I'm actually affiliated with the NCR, which makes things complicated because if I go there without getting naked first, they shoot me. Also, really when I look at this without my hair, my face looks fucked up. I really gotta get a helmet. Anyway, New Vegas um, was felt by a lot of people to be a step in the right direction after Fallout 3. Uh, which is even worse considering that Fallout 4 doubles down on everything that people didn't like in Fallout 3. But uh, New Vegas is not very irradiated. I think only one nuke actually came to the Mojave. So yeah, in a game called Fallout, there's barely any nuclear stuff. And in this one, there's even less of it. It more is based around the, the societal and political aftermath. This is a really nice looking DLC. So yeah, this is in Utah, near Salt Lake City. It's based heavily on uh, Mormons. Yeah, go as a mutated bear for. That was some kind of lucky. Guess that one was all full of gecko, eh? <laughs> Don't get used to it though. Yao Guai are plenty mean as a rule. So you can take the path north here if you want, or head east over the ridge. There's a nice view from the top of that cliff if you want to look. Yeah, Fellows Chalk is very obviously a character that the devs put here to be like, hey. Am I seeing inside the cliff there, or is it fucking? Is it me fucking with my settings? Somebody want to tussle? Oh, gotcha. whoops! I saw the red, and I was like, "Enemy, let's shoot him!" Tasty, delicious Yagwai meat. I've never eaten bear, but since they're uh, omnivorous, I imagine the meat wouldn't be as good. So yeah, Yagwai are mutated bears that got mutated after the bombs fell, and then they became the new, you know, apex predator. Because evolutionarily speaking, stuff normally doesn't evolve quicker. But when you have mutation causing uh, caused by radiation mutations occur quicker and since the environment has changed so rapidly namely becoming a radioactive one things that are better adapted for that radiation you know are better made to survive there so in a sense yes they do evolve quicker however just it still takes a few generations just you know less than it normally would i'm a little hoarse if you can't hear which is makes it even odder that I decided to record like, ah, I gotta record now, you know? Goofball. That's me. Yeah, you. You can me. 
So something I, I uh, recall fondly complaining with my friend Aaron about is that there's not a lot of um, linguistic changes from Fallout to from now to Fallout, I should say. Oh, whoops. Come on. That was way over. Whoops. Every time I see that, I, I get worried that it's me. All right, let's get all my inventory. Oh, well. Sorry, I want to have my fashion. You know what? Yeah, I can drop this. It's not really too useful for me right now. I want to sell this, but I'll drop it if I need to. So yeah, um, linguistics have not evolved from modern day to now. And normally that might just be a thing where it's like, oh, they only feel like that. You know, people only think that they haven't. However, um, it's evident that that's the case when you see... Hell yeah. When you see Fallout 4. Because in Fallout 4, the protagonist is someone essentially displaced in time who goes from the Fallout equivalent of modern day to now. And there's almost no uh, change in language at all. Behind this rock pile, you say? I didn't play this very much. So I don't know much of anything in it. So yeah, there's no change in language over time in Fallout 4. However, in this game, you can actually see that there's a lot of change in language over time, specifically with the tribals. Which I like, that's cool. It's probably because this game was written a hell of a lot better than Fallout 4. All right. I was looking at that, I was like, why would they why would they drink that? And I was like, oh wait, right, it's poison. You're not meant to eat it. Hmm. Guess I'm just jumpy. No, I just killed him. Pop. Oh, hello. It's a little gecko. <laughs> nice. Yeah, a lot of mutations here in the in the new Vegases. Because even if it's not a heavily irradiated area, irradiated area, I should say, they still uh, they still get animals. Because it's not accurate to say that they're more highly evolved. I love cave paintings. Look at this. What does that mean? It's so cool. Fuck yeah. God, I'm, I'm I'm still not even sure where to start on my. You know, I don't know if you know this, but I've got spurs that jingle, jangle, jingle. Yeah, new languages. Hell yeah. It's also like a con lang, which I'm always uh, grateful for. <gasps> oh, shit. When did I save? Well, that's going to be it for this episode. I'll see you guys next time. But yeah, uh, I'm going to be playing uh, all of Honest Hearts. For good or ill. <laughs> I really should have written this all down first, you know? This might end up being one of my worst LPs. But hey, I like playing New Vegas. Fuck. Even a bad time playing New Vegas is still playing New Vegas and not playing Fallout 4. Hey yo, I'm an Alfred. This has been Fallout New Vegas' DLC, Honest Hearts. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.